If you have a home theater or just a good surround sound system, you need to know a little bit about listening mode so that you can choose a sound mode that will give you the best listening experience. Your receiver surround sound listening modes can transform your room into a movie theater with stunning surround sound. In this video, I hope to give an overview of the evolution of surround sound listening modes up to today's most advanced called Dolby Atmos and DTS-X. Hey, if you like this content, do me a big favor. Like and subscribe so I get credit for all my hard work. Help do I get? Yes? Mm -hmm. Now a note about THX. The THX system is a quality assurance system, not a recording technology. All sound recording formats, whether digital, Dolby Digital, DTS, or an analog, Dolby Stereo, etc., can be reproduced in THX systems. TH THX certified ensures that a film soundtrack mixed in THX will sound as near as possible to the intentions of the mixing engineer. Your amplifier may have other listening or sound modes, but here are some of the most important ones to know. First, I'm going to skip the older listening modes such as mono, stereo, and direct mode and go straight to the competing surround technologies, Dolby and DTS. First, these two sound technologies have been competing with each other for many years, with each one creating their own version of each surround sound technology. Let's first take a look at the Dolby surround technologies, focusing on the ones that you'll find most often. Around 1986, Dolby developed Dolby ProLogic, but it wasn't until Dolby Digital was released in the mid-1990s that surround sound took a leap forward. This was the most common digital surround sound format, and it'll put you right in the middle of the sound, just like being in the movie theater. Dolby Digital was originally called AC3. This is something you want to remember, especially if you make copies of your movies. You'll often notice that AC3 is listed and not Dolby Digital. It was developed specially for multi-channel applications, including film, sound, and digital surround sound. Dolby Digital technology uses the 5.1 channel format. In 1999, the Dolby EX mode expanded 5.1 channel sources to 7.1 channel playback. The next year, Dolby released Dolby Pro Logic 2 that can expand any two channel source to a 5.1 channel playback. It provides a very natural surround sound experience for sources that are recorded in only stereo. With Dolby Pro Logic 2X, Dolby could expand any two channel source to a 7.1 channel playback. Dolby Digital Plus was developed in 2005 for use with HDTV, including Blu-ray and supports up to 7.1 channels. Dolby True HD also released in 2005, was designed to take full advantage of the additional storage space offered in Blu-ray disc formats. It offers up to 7.1 channels of digital audio. Often paired with Dolby True HD, you find Dolby Pro Logic 2Z. Released in 2009, it was designed to more effectively use height channel speakers when available. Having front speakers in the ceiling, for example, gives you the feeling that a sound is coming from up above. This is about as good as it gets for Dolby surround sound before you move to the newest Dolby Atmos amps. Now moving to Dolby's competitor, DTS or Digital Theater Systems. DTS has its listening modes that perform more or less like Dolby surround sound modes. First, DTS, debuted in 1993 with the release of Jurassic Park. This standard DTS supports up to 5.1 channels and uses less compression for high fidelity reproduction. Just like Dolby True HD, DTS HD Master Audio was designed to take full advantage of the additional storage space offered on Blu-ray disc formats. It offered up to 7.1 channels of digital audio. DTS Surround Sensation. With this mode, you can enjoy a virtual 5.1 surround sound, even with only two speakers. Now the latest surround modes for these competing technologies are Dolby Atmos and DTS-X. These newest sound technology modes are the formats that most new epic movies are being produced with. You'll need an amp and a speaker setup, especially designed for these technologies to fully experience Dolby Atmos or DTS-X. Dolby Atmos uses speakers placed in the ceiling or vertical speaker drivers that bounce the sound off of the ceiling to create a similar effect. These modules can sit on top of your traditional speakers to create a bubble of sound. Blu-ray Disc and many streaming services have adopted Atmos, such as Amazon Prime Video, Netflix, and Disney+. TV broadcasters are increasingly supporting Atmos as well. DTS-X is more flexible and works with a standard surround sound setup. 
and doesn't require overhead speakers. It's best to try and match your listening or sound mode to the source, but when it's not possible, you can always test using other modes to find your favorites. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, consider subscribing and consider watching this next related video.